the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. It's perfect because you know, as, as when you thought about that, as you thought about that, you, your point is that the whole Bible, the you know, the bad, the ugly, uh, is all there, and that God's intent is all there too. What is he? What is he? What is the will of God? And then what has man done, in spite of God's interaction with us, in spite of God's will for us, we keep seeing. The, the, he wanted to show in the Bible, though, the, the ugly and the good. And matter of fact, to me, it's almost saying is, you need a savior. You know what, Jimmy? You need a savior. That, to me, that Bible, when it shows the good, the bad, and the ugly, it all equals you need a savior. And that's why I sent my Yeah, because God, because God is love. There's no doubt about it. But yeah. and, 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 and most say, some people, that's all they'll say. But when you read the Old Testament and see God's nature, you understand that God is also righteousness. Uh -huh. That God is also judgment. Yeah. There are some things that God hates. Mm -hmm. God, that God does mm -hmm. um, sometimes um, show his anger against something that happens and judges it in yeah. ways that are just absolutely unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So you got to under, understand his own nature, yeah. his full nature, because because if you don't say God is love, 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 then I can I then I can say, then why does the Bible even teach hell then? If he's so love, then why is there such thing as hell? Because God is more than love. He's not just he's just not single minded. He's multifaceted. That's his most prominent and prevalent attribute, and everything is done from that origin or from that basis. Even his judgment is done from the position of love. Yes. And so that's what you have to understand. But don't but don't think he's not those other things as well. Because right. you can't read the Bible. You can't read the Bible without those other things being clearly seen. Yes. yes. And, and and in doing so, you know, you, you also reflect. I mean God relates himself as as a father. And so you know me being a father I have some ideas of the nature of love that I have toward my child that he has toward us. So, yeah. you know, there's times where there's there needs to be discipline. There's times where, you know, there's instruction, mm -hmm. you know, and and so th and there's consequences. Yes. You know, uh, when you adhere to the rules that are stated by me for this household, then you can exist therein. Yes. Yeah. And that's love. And that is yes, love. and that is love. And then when you don't, then you must go because that's love too. Because you need to see that's love. the, the love results. Love. Yes, you have to experience the results of your decisions, and that is love. And it is a hard love. Yeah. So I can only imagine, you know, the 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 um, the, the emotions that that God has when he's he's you know pulling back, allowing us to walk out the decision so that we learn yeah yeah people that people that stuff for some people understand when i bought you the car and gave it to you that was love yes when i took the keys when i took the keys and took the car from you and you couldn't drive it no more that was love too it yes, was, it was. Both was love. Yeah, yes it was glory to god yes it was yeah yeah for your existence yes you know give me these keys right right but I don't want you to get hurt. And I, Man, I, come on. I think that's why that scripture when we read was saying, humble himself. Because that, that's a humility within it. Going through the gospel. Going through the, the Old Testament. There's a humility part that makes the difference. Come in and convert as a child and be humble. The fact is I'm thankful that I'm saved. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's what he's trying to I think that's why he's trying to say, come as a little child. I mean, don't come with your 
your, your flesh. There's no boasting in salvation. There's glorifying in salvation. You know, there's no works that you can point to for salvation. It's, it's, it's a gift. So, so therefore, when you talk to somebody else, you talk to them from that perspective. You know, that's, that's the whole point. What, what is my intent when I'm preaching the gospel? Even if, even I tell you what, if people come up with the rules, the dogma rules of their church, make sure they understand, you know, Jim, make sure they understand the intent behind it. You know, I, I, we want, we operate this way in this ministry because we're trying to steer away from those things that, what you call brother as a default, things yeah. that easily beset us. We know that this is, this is the default of a person in the flesh. And we're trying to steer you away from those things that can cause you to stumble. That's the only reason, that's where the love comes in, to make sure you understand the intent behind the action. If we can do that, it's gonna make a big difference. Is how, how I look at it. Now, now the other thing about coming in as a Christian, and this is what Christ said, if brother has to check this one, I'll read it for us. This is very interesting. This is the temptation to sin. Okay, Matthew 8, 18, 7. Woe to the world because of offense. For it must need to be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense come. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off. Then cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life, halt or man, uh -huh. rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Yeah. And if I, I offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Uh -huh. There's your fire brimstone right there. I mean, Jesus was talking about it. Jesus was saying, is, I don't want you to go to hell. <laughs> I, I'm trying to steer you away from it. But I also let you know that the offenses, those are transgressions. I was thinking, I used to think about those being offended. Hey, Jim, I used to think of those as being, you being offended. But those are really talking about offense, transgression, or sin that will come. They're going to come to you. And then, of course, he says some of the things you're going to do. You're going to commit offenses, you know? And he's trying to get the point of saying is that I need you to don't steer away from those things that cause you, hey, brother, as it goes default. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to let you know defaults come. But I'm trying to steer you away from it. Because woe unto you from if those defaults come, you know, those offenses come from you. Mm -hmm. You know, just like right now, I mean, both all of us are married, and and, and the the offense of adultery, the the consequences of it, especially as you move more mature in in the faith, the consequences. He's saying is is, is that right? Is, Jim, is that what he's trying to say that you could be cast into hell from offenses? Well, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a, huh. hell is kind of a final, is a final, final judgment. And I think it's a lot more to it than Just a singular sin. Yeah. He's you know, offensive. I think it's a. He's offensive, yeah. Total rejection of him and what he died for. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you don't have much of a choice. I mean, if you don't, if he, if he offers you a gift and you turn it down, I mean, you can't blame him. Yeah, you know, I know that's if right. Prepare, if he makes a way and you turn the other way, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you can't you can't be mad at him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if he if he if he tell you to make sure I set before you today life and death, and uh -huh. then he say choose life that you and your seed may live, but you said no, nah, that's okay. I'd rather choose death than death. You can't get mad at him. I know that's right, brother. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, here, here, here's your ticket. 
<laughs> away from that. <laughs> I don't want it. I, I do not want it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's like he says it. Woe unto the world because offenses, because of offenses, because of transgressions. And we see it. He shows it. We see it. It's the history of it. Uh, for it must, yeah. everybody say, for it must need to be that offenses come. They come in. Yeah. They come in. <laughs> so it, it, they it, come in. Yeah. It, we know it. And look, it's a historical fact. It's a natural fact. I think, but you can't say again before that I came to the call again. A default. There's a default fact that offenses will come. People will do transgression. Uh, guarantee. Guarantee. Guarantee is a guarantee. And I guess it says some of those offenses come through all of us. Each of us, well, we know before you came in the body of Christ, and we know that when we came into the body of Christ, offenses came. Well, you, you're still a human being, and, and, and you're still different, raised different, different experiences, different exposures. Yeah. People have different things that are important to them. So, I mean, automatically, because two people get together, there's going to be offenses and differences because they're not the same. If Amen. everybody was identical, then I guess it wouldn't be. But there's, it, there's no way around offenses. You know, it's no way around it because I like I like blue, you like green. I mean, I, I you know, I like cool weather, you like cold weather. I like the summer, you like the winter. I mean, I like collard greens, you like turtle greens. I mean, there's yeah. no way around that. What's good? <laughs> I like Cincinnati today. You probably like the Rams. Yes. <laughs> I can't go with Cincinnati. They're, they're, they're division rivals, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, I, I was planning on wearing all blue today. <laughs> oh, but, <man. laughs> but, but it is what it is. I'm in neutral colors. <laughs> and, 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 and apparently, a fence will come to somebody today. <laughs> yeah, one way or another, you can never, never please everybody. Somebody's going to be offended, no matter what you do. You know what? And to the point, to the point that there, there's quite possibly going to be fights. Someone may die. Mm -hmm. um, some rioting in the streets. Cars may be turned over. Things set on fire. Uh, just some relationships may become so severed that they're never able to be amended. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, over over a, a game or a sporting event. But yeah. you can rest assured. Everything I just mentioned, there's a strong possibility. And I say that because historically it has happened. So I got a good precedent. I got a good precedence for yes. it. Yes. It could happen tonight. And that's a, and that's a shame because then we've lost sight of the purpose of the thing. It is simply entertainment. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and what's, this is the other thing that's crazy. These dudes are going to get their check and go home and be just they be close friends with some of the people on the other team <laughs> matter yeah. of fact we'll go out and eat with them yeah <laughs> i'll never forget they went they they played on the same college team together yeah they they, yeah. they, they, they go back for years they're the best of friends in the offseason now their wives you know they plan vacations together yeah. are you serious of course yeah. here you are about to about to lose your mind and these and you looking at these team from opposite teammates you know just hanging out together like it like it wasn't all that i mean it was at the time because it was competition then when the competition is over that's it and it should be the same way <laughs> with us but we, we'd be more vested than they are yeah yeah because you know they, you know that's one of the things they teach when you do play sports to go and shake hands so they you know when the game is over they they go both shake hands you know, that, yeah, that was yeah. practice from from being, from from you. That you're supposed to do that. That's the intent of the thing, you know. And so I think that's why they were talking about uh, they will come, offenses will come, the world they coming from, you know, from the person who's bringing the offense. And you're trying to say that it is so critical for a human or for believer that if the, if it's the foot, if it's the if it's what the, the, the eyes or the uh, or the hand, or he says, rather you rather come main than to come into heaven. Yeah, heaven, not heaven, heaven. 
What Hevinian. <laughs> Hevinian. <laughs> yeah, it's Hevinian. <laughs> now you got to spell that one day. <laughs> I look like it sounds. <laughs> Hevin, Hevinian. Yeah, yeah, Just like on. a Canadian. Canadian, got you. Or American. <laughs> so we got to get the heaven in and then Indian in, whatever that other piece is in there, right? Yes. Yeah. Amen. So, but you know, those those are the things about the offense. Now, the next one I thought I want to make sure I get to. I want to get to that parable of uh, love forgiven uh, servant. But, but look at check this one. I want you to think about this is the piece that that drives some of us as believers uh, of of trying to 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 reach out to the lost. Go ahead for this one, brother. Try your mind. Uh, take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which is lost, which was lost. How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety, ninety and nine and goeth into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so, be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine, which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. You see, that's why I saw the compassion of, of, of being a, a Habidian, is the fact is that God loves every child that comes into the kingdom. And with my fact, I guess he sent, that's all where he sent Christ was to to bring back the lawsuit, right? And that's just that's your calling or to the passion that we both have is to help a lost sheep come back to the goal. Yeah, and to tell the 90 and 9, don't do what I did, man. <laughs> Hey, it's bad out there. <laughs> hey, hey.